I just got a call from yes, I know, Jensen, hungry, you want boobies. Got a call from a dentist just here somewhere. Um, they put a bucket over a snake inside their office, and she's adamant that it's a young brown snake. Knowing this suburb, it'll more than likely be a green tree, a young one, or potentially a whip snake, and also the liquor is it, but my bet is the young green tree. And we're about to pull in the dentist now, I think. Oh, that would be right here. Destination on the right, 46 Hollywell Road. I don't know what it's going to be for us. Oh, is that it right there? That's 40, so I've sucked up. Still a U-turn, and it's that one right there. The gentle dental. The mental gentle dental. 42, eh? There's 21 different species of snakes yeah. and a handful of legacies, and most of them come in brown. Yeah. I was actually coming here thinking this would be a young green tree snake. I, I, uh, yeah, I thought it might be a young what's it. And I said to Robert, I wonder I if it's, it's a legless lizard. It's a legless lizard. Well. lizard. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> so they're actually good to have around, aren't they? They actually eat other lizards, believe it or not. The little yeah. things that you normally get. Yeah. They're totally harmless. And we get loads here, which is probably why it's hanging around. It's only very young. I mean, those guys, when they breed, mum's probably four or five times the size of that, and she'll only have two eggs, and those eggs are about the size of a grape. So he's only, only very, very young. So they, they don't even bite, do they? No. I'll, I've heard they do, I've never been bit by one, I've handled thousands. So what would be the difference between that? I've never seen a baby like brown. The way you can tell? Yeah, is it, is it snout? That, but there's a number of different types of legless lizards. He's got yep. ears. The snakes don't have ears, he's got little holes. He, oh. Him being so small, you'd be hard pressed to see the bloody things, I tell you. Ah, oh, okay. little holes on the side of his head. Okay. So how big would he grow? Um, in length, three times that length, and in girth, uh, you know, nearly as thick as a pen. Oh, okay. A bit thicker, so. Oh, gosh. I mean, I, I love stuff like that. I wasn't. Well, <laughs> I was just worried nearly, there's a baby brown or something. Yeah, he's nearly all tail. Oh. I'm going to have trouble picking you up because she's so small. But he's probably. Um, they come in many, many different colours. I'll put it up here so you can see them. Yep. They can be really, really bright red, orange, yep. striped, whatever. Many, many different colours. Oh, I don't cute. know if you're going to be able to see those ears if I can get him still for a sec. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Can I take a photo while you're holding him? Yeah. <laughs> We're from the UK, so this is new to us. Oh. Well, I've got Even I've people that come from Australia, you, all this stuff usually you talk I live next to a reserve, so I've mm. got I'm found whip still. snakes and everything, but. Mm. The whip snakes are venomous, hang on a second, I've got about gonna, four of those around my house. He thinks, he thinks I'm going to eat them. There you go. Got it, that's all right. Oh, dear. So we called you out for a legless lizard. <laughs> well, you, you never know. You don't laugh about it because no. I mean, people call me dog poos and scuff marks and leads and branches and worms. I sometimes laugh at that, but you know, if you still laugh at yourself, the people who do the opposite and think, ah, oh, it's just a carpet and grab it and end up in hospital. It's a yeah. Very story, so yeah, that's why I did off. say to Robert it might be a legless lizard, but I wasn't absolutely exactly. sure. Yeah. Exactly. So um, we live next to a reserve. I mean, where would you release him? Um, uh, on my next job out, um, as in out west, so wherever, it doesn't really matter. If you want to let it go in this garden here where it came from, ultimately that's the best thing to do. Oh, that's fine as well, as long so as um, cool with it. That we're cool with it. I just don't want um, somebody else thinking it's a snake and killing it or something. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, you, you can't curb the entire population. No. I spend my life seven days a week for the last 22 years trying to, I can't even put a dent in stopping people from killing them, but. Yeah. 
Yeah. But ultimately, the best thing for this guy is to let him go in the garden where he's come from here. He's born here, so let him go here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Perhaps, I'll, I'll um, go and do that outside now. And, and yeah, okay, thank you.